What is up, people? As we continue to power through this Ashes of Creation content drought, waiting for Alpha 2, we got some filler content. I've been playing a lot of Dragonflight Alpha in the past few days, exploring, trying out the new class, and running some dungeons, and I gotta say, this is the first time in a long time that I've just had fun and wow. And it didn't feel like I was just grinding through to hit that level cap for the next content. For those of you who don't know, Blizzard is taking a very different and much needed approach to this alpha. Instead of dropping the majority of content through patches, they are doing more focused testing to really hone in on player feedback, something that Blizzard desperately needed. Last week's focus test was playing through a new zone called the Azure Span and unlocking the Evoker class. This week we got the Evoker starting area along with two dungeons to test, Notharius and Alderman Legacy of the Tear. Along with some other features like various class talents and new professions, this alone is huge for Blizzard because it shows that this time around they are actually listening to player feedback and showing they are responding. And I mean, we got freaking talent trees again. If that doesn't say something, you know, we also got craft and revamp and a lot of the old school stuff seems to be getting some love finally. Anyways, getting into the evoker. This new class is one of the best classes in the game in its current state. It blows demon hunters and death knights out of the water for hero class and the character customization is outstanding. It really shows how dated the other races are, so hopefully we get more additions for the rest of them down the road too. I spent probably an hour customizing my guy and then he bugged out and I had to make a new one and then I didn't have any more time to put the effort in so I just made a random one which was kind of disappointing but later went back to the barbershop to fix him. The Drakthir starting zone is great and although not as evolving as the Death Knight zone I still enjoy it more and way more than the Demon Hunter zone. You can tell that this starting zone is built around the Evoker and its abilities. As you progress through this zone and you learn new abilities the next step in that zone almost feels like it's designed to get you to use those abilities. When you gain an AoE spell, all of a sudden multiple low health mobs are together. When you learn a new heal, there are mobs that all of a sudden need healing. When you get a new movement spell, you're finding yourself jumping and gliding off cliffs and using that ability more. really getting you to use the full variety of abilities handed to you, which other hero class zones never really did a good job at. The abilities themselves are a blast too. The abilities that require you to hold the mouse to make them more powerful, although took a bit of getting used to, are fun and don't seem to interrupt your combat flow in any way, and are great for AoE healing as well, although I haven't yet to try it out in PvP. There is an attack slash heal spell that attacks enemies and heals friendlies depending on how you are using it, that I find myself using quite often. And although there is probably lots of tuning to come down the road, it's definitely off to a great start. I tried to run through a dungeon to heal, but the queues were awful for the two dungeons available, so maybe next week. I did spend some time messing with these spells in the talent trees though, and with the target dummies in Stormwind, and the Evoker might be that class that gets me back into healing, which I haven't done since Wrath. The talent trees do a really good job of making you feel like no matter what you pick up, you're gonna win. With it being more balanced than those classic trees, perhaps giving the chance for not every want to be rocking the exact same build. But a lot of your crucial abilities seem to be locked into talent trees, which I don't really know how I feel about that yet, so it does require you to want to stray down some paths to make sure you get those spells. The damage talent tree for the evoker feels more free than the healing tree though, with less abilities than what are tied into the healing tree. In the end, I can't really find myself playing any other class in their current state with the evoker in the mix. Something about it is just new and refreshing, which could just be that I've been playing the other classes for the last 15 years and everything about the evoker just feels better but it does show that blizzard does need to take some time to put into their other classes to help modernize them with the rest of the game but also keeping them true to their roots we will have to wait and see until more of the alpha builds come out though to really decide how they feel as blizzard could already be making some of these changes what are your thoughts on the evoker in dragonflight drop a comment down below and if you want to see more dragonflight content beyond this while we fill the gaps for ashes content then and let me know also in the comments and as always be sure to hit that subscribe button click that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come